Gallant News Digest, 20th of August, 3305. We read the news so you don't have to. In this week's news, Fortune's Corsairs demand asteroid base. For the love of fiction. Plea for help from Hamster Herder. Fortune's Corsairs demand asteroid base. The Fortune's Corsairs are demanding parity with Sagittarius I and are willing to create a food mountain to achieve it. Sagittarius I's appeal a few weeks back for a permanent asteroid base in which to create their magazine was so successful that they had enough money to kit the place out as a luxury spa and are now spending so much time being pampered that they don't have time to create a magazine anymore. Having heard about this, and having had enough of being jolly space pirates, the Fortunes Corsairs of Chamas have appealed to the Pilots' Federation to be granted a luxury spa asteroid base of their own. To put pressure on the Galactic Authorities, the Corsairs are buying up all the healthy foodstuffs in the galaxy in order to induce scurvy amongst the population and bring about a no-deal asteroid base if the galaxy isn't willing to cooperate. The Fortune's Corsairs are pretty confident that the Pilots' Federation needs the Fortune's Corsairs more than the Fortune's Corsairs needs the Pilots' Federation. For the love of fiction. The Accident Prone Alliance Festival of Culture has done its Fine Art Week in Lave, its Film Festival in Listi, and its Music Festival in Fecta. This week, the Old Grea System is the lucky host of the Alliance Cultural Juggernaut, which is highlighting the top literary achievements of the galaxy. There was, of course, a massive outpouring of literary creativity in 3300 and 3301, but since then, only the scribbling senator Drew Wager has published anything. The book Premonition, which was an account of the first hints of the return of the Thargoids and the death of Kahina Loren. The reason for this dearth of new literary fiction is hard to pin down, but a number of off-camera authors have been more active, including author Hannah Darold, whose book about releasing a novel during a literary festival will be released during the literary festival. A spokesperson for Bonespire Publishing regretted that famous off-camera author Olaf Redcourt would not be attending the festival. He's apparently still working on a science fiction novel, but not sure whether he'll get approval from the Galactic Authorities to publish such a niche product. Plea for help from Hamster Herder. A note slipped out of the Pilots' Federation server rooms on Founders' World suggests that all may not be well beneath that organization's seemingly smooth exterior. The note, which was concealed on the back of a clipboard held by an extremely distinguished-looking senior official, was encrypted. But once decoded, it read, The Deputy Hamster Herder sends their regards. 42. This is believed to be some sort of SOS, an appeal to independent pilots to free all lovers of rodents from the standard deviations of their Pilots' Federation masters. In fact, it's been a week of ciphers. The last mystery of the Salome affair was finally cracked. The previous cipher contained a message from Salome herself. My last request is that you always remember. And it was hoped that the final mystery might reveal something more about the enigmatic namesake of an Italian sausage. However, when the code was finally cracked after two years of puzzling, it turned out to be a shopping list, listing locations and names relevant to the Kahina Loren story. Some mysteries are best left unsolved. 
And that's this week's Galnet News. Galnet News, we read the news so you don't have to.